Solve an assist in using matrices, but first we need a game plan. A game plan. We're gonna get a one in row one, column one. And then we're gonna use it to kill the rest of that column. No worries, no numbers were harmed in the making of this example. Then we're gonna get a one in row two, column two. So that we can kill the rest of the numbers in that column, annihilate them, reduce them down to zero. Then we get a one in row three, column three. So we can kill the rest of that column. And the last step. The solution to a system is a point. What's my point? You write your answer as a point. X, Y, Z. So now let's see. This example. Man, it's a good thing we had that game plan. Let's do this one. Where'd you get that? The link is down below. You can get yours too. Here we go. I have this matrix E, the one, a three, a minus two, and a minus one, a none, a minus two, a six, none, three, four, minus five, and eleven, and then what am I going to try to do? I'm going to try to get it down to reduce row echelon form. Notation, people. Notation, notation, notation. Here we go. Step one. Get a one in row one, column one. Oh, gift. Step two, kill the rest of that column. Die. Oh, that one's already a zero, but how do I get that three to be a zero? Like this. It's minus three times row one plus row three. Now here we see that this is a minus three. Why? Because we're trying to get additive inverses with that one so that when we add it to three, it's gone. Here's the notation. This is the row that is changing. This is the row that is changing. Some books do it different. This is how our book does it. Okay, this is the row that's changing. What did I do to row one? Nothing. I used it. Leave it alone. And that's why I've left it alone here. And nothing happened there. So now I go through and I do do that. Minus three times row one is minus three. Plus a three is a zero. The desired effect. And then minus three times three is minus nine. Fine. Minus nine plus four is a minus five. Okay, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Minus 3 times a minus 2, because I'm taking minus 3 times row 1 plus row 3. So minus 3 times a minus 2 is 6. 6 plus a minus 5 is 1. Fun. All right? Don't forget about the answer category of your augmented matrix. So then I'm doing a minus 3 times 1 get me 3. 3 plus 11 is 14. Nice. So what just happened? I killed that column. So I need to go on. Now I need to get a, this is step three. Step three, I need to get a one in row two, column two. So what do you do? You're going to divide it by two, a minus two. And that's what we see here. This is minus one half row two. Put that back in row two. So the only row that is changing is row two. So I rewrite both those other rows. And here we goes. One half row two. Put it back in row two. So then one half of zero is zero. One half of minus two is one. Fun, the desired effect. Minus one half of six is a minus three. Tee hee, tee hee. And then half of zero is nothing. All right, so now I have a one in my row two, column two. I need to proceed to kill the rest of that column. So what are we gonna go after first? Why don't we kill that three? How are we gonna take that one and kill that three? Well, we are going to do minus 3 times row 2 plus row 1. And that's how I write it. Minus 3 times row 
2 plus rho 1. Now this is a stretch, because one of my matrices is over there, and the other one is over here. So, we'll go like this. We're doing minus 3 times rho 2. Minus 3 times 0 is mm, 0, plus 1. Oh, that's 1. Fun. And then, minus 3 times rho 2 plus rho 1. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. Plus 3 is 0. See what's happening here? We're killing that column. Die! So then, I'm doing a minus 3 times rho 2 plus rho 1. So minus 3 times a minus 3 is 9. Fine. 9 plus a minus 2 is 7. And then now I take that minus 3 times that 0. 0 plus that minus 1 is minus 1. Fun. So now that we're done with that stretch, let's carry on. Because I want to take that 1 and kill the entire row. Reduce it down to 0. So then how am I going to take that 1 and get rid of that minus 5? Well, yeah, you're going to take 5 times row 2 plus row 3. Now, the only row we change here, see, is this back one. The third row is changing, so I rewrite the other two rows. And I goes, and I proceed to take minus 5 times this guy plus this guy. Nothing! All right, zero. And then I take minus, oh, if I misspoke, sorry. So then 5 times row 2 plus row 3 is 0. Because 5 times 1 is 5 plus a minus 5 is 0. The desired effect. We are trying to kill the rest of that column using that 1. So then 5 times a minus 3 is a minus 15. A minus 15 plus 1 is a minus 14. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 14 is 14. Ooh, nice. So, let's recap what's happening. We got a 1 there, we killed the column. We got a 1 there, we killed the column. Now what do we need to do? We need to get a 1 right on down there. All right. So then how am I going to get make minus 14 a 1? It's multiplicative inverse? Sure. That's the number that we multiply by the number that... Oh, never mind. So then, this is minus 14. So I need to go minus 1 14th. Whoop, get in there. Row 3. And then we put it back in row 3. So the only row that's changing is the one in back. All right. I recopy the other two rows because I didn't do anything to them. And now I goes and I take 1 14th this row, divide everything by mm, 14. So that's a 0 and that's a, a 0. And this is a 1, the desired effect. 14 divided by a minus 14 is a minus 1. All right, now I write that one there and I'm going to try to take that one and kill these two. All right, looks like we're going after row 2 next. What am I going to multiply this 1 by to kill that minus 3? Reduce it down to 0. Good. So, bam! I don't do anything to these rows, so I recopy them. And I need to take this 1 and get rid of that minus 3. So, we need to go... 3 times row 3 plus row 2. And when we do, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. And then, oh hi, 3 times 1 plus a minus 3 a 0. Oh, killing it augmented it. So then, 3 times, that's what I'm doing, right? 3 times row 3 plus row 2. 3 times a minus 1 is a minus 3 plus 0 is, wait for it, wait for it, minus 3. Tee hee, tee hee, 
All right, now we need to take that one and kill that seven. And we do. Here we go. We're doing minus seven times row three plus row one. So minus, the only row that's changing is row one. I recopy the other two. So then, zero times minus seven plus one is one. Zero times minus seven plus zero is zero. And then, minus seven times one is minus seven plus seven is zero. The desired effect. Minus seven times one is seven. Seven plus a minus one is a minus six. Sick. So wait a minute. We have achieved reduced row echelon form. One's on the diagonals, zero's everywhere else. So what's my point? My point is the solution to my system is a point. This one is minus six, minus three, and minus one. You know, uh, box and flower.